Hey guys, HerbQuest here. Did a little more PKing in the Taverly area. Managed to get some chins from the all. Finally got the hunter leveled up on that. Was training at Black Salamanders for a while and kept getting PK'd there. I don't know why people PK at Black Salamanders just to help stop people from getting the black chins, maybe. I don't know. But I ended up getting some chins, only uh, 180 of them. Sold one of them to see what the prices were like. And then uh, decided to try Dovidas's method for chinning. He showed an interesting chin spot in one of his videos a while ago that I'll, uh, I'll show you guys how to get to in Dead Man Ro mode real quick in case you haven't seen his. But you can just get the bone key back by talking to the guy over in Shiloh. And then you head over to the village, well not the village, but the dungeon involved with the Shiloh Village quest, which is right over here, just north of the shipyard. And within this dungeon, there are various coin piles. And if you try to pick up the coins, it makes all this stuff spawn and you can chin it. So, I got some XP there. I don't think this is the best chin spot though, but it is secluded and it is safe. Then, went back to my slayer task of black demons and killing fishers. Didn't see any fishers, but I saw this guy hopping around. <clears throat> Thought maybe he might have been killing fishers, but he seemed to be just killing the black dragons and rag gear, so hopped around a little bit, see if I could find him, and sure enough I did. I just spec him out in three hits. Got a bank key out of it, felt pretty good. And an extra rune crossbow as well. Along with some broad bolts. That will come in handy later. But I didn't see any fishers though. Like in any of the worlds at all. So I was like, why are there no fishers? So I just killed some black demons. And uh, when I went to open up the bank key nothing in it but a knife. So I was like, eh, whatever. And I decided to head back up, only this time I decided to walk there from Lumbridge, sort of looking for trouble. Didn't find anyone on the way though, except for this one guy in Draenor Bank, who's triple digit combat level, so I decided not to mess with him, and then get the heck out of there. And then I decided to hop around at the farm patch for a minute, see if I could find anyone. And I found this one guy, but my dragon bolts didn't really want to spec that time, so he got away pretty easily. And then I got bored of the farm patch, hopped through all the worlds, and decided to walk back up to Tabberley. Figured I'd check the fishing spots again since it'd been a minute, but still the same thing, absolutely no fishers except for that guy, but he got away so he doesn't count. And I found someone killing dragons, and I decided to come over here and hop around and see if I could get on him. But he was in the AFK and he knows how to use the ladder to escape, so good for him, he got away. So I continued hopping through the worlds, kept running into that guy, then I got booted out, reloaded my client, came back, and there's PKers all over the place, and Agility King had gotten on me, or we fought each other before, but I thought we had like a truce going on or whatever, but he 
gets at me, so I'm like, okay, I'll fight. He's got the whole tribrid going on. I'm going range tank, so I'm just hoping to DPS him out. I wanted to keep the damage going, so right up here I start brewing a little bit because you can brew hit, brew hit without losing any DPS. Full HP, figure out range pot, and it does well because I hit a 17 on him through prayer, which makes him eat twice in a row there. He's probably afraid I have a G Maul or something, but I only have like 50 attack and strength, so Ooh, that ain't happening. But yeah, initially I was just going to leave this guy alone, but then he attacked me first. So, I'll just continue fighting. At this point I know he's got to be pretty low. goes for the spec there. That 80 defense though, that really helps for tanking quite a bit, all those zeros. Even without the prayer on some of them. And then he makes a break for it. And he's got his friend down there just waiting. Gets a dagger stuck in right there. At this point, it looks like he's completely out. He's on 10% health. Playing ladder games. Hoping he'll come back up. And then his friend's finally able to get on me. And he's like level 96. So this guy starts a fight with me, can't finish it, and then has his friend get on me. So I fight his friend for a little bit. And I don't know, I don't think I could have taken him, so I just dip because there's two of them and one of me. So I just punch some black demons for a while, get a little Slayer XP, and I decided. Uh, as I was losing my skull, I knew I could teleport pretty easily now, but I figured I'd just sort of troll the shit out of these guys for the uh, teamwork they did. And it was like around half an hour, and then I just uh, teleport just after wasting their time, so I felt like that was the ultimate troll. You know, interrupt my fight, start a fight with me, then interrupt it, and team clan man mode and all that. Figured I'd waste their time since they wanted to camp out and watch me punch demons. Well, that's for this episode, guys. Uh, hopefully I can get into a fight with somebody who doesn't want to run away and call their friend who's 20 levels higher than them to back them up. Like a nice solid 1v1 death match because I'll sit there and I'll fight to the death out of supplies and all that but I'm not going to do that after you know fighting one guy for like three minutes. I'm not, I'm not gonna just sit there and die to his friend 
after getting low, so I don't know. We'll see how it goes next time, guys. Peace.